Intel Tiger Lake is the codename given to the latest range of laptop grade chips from the computing giant. Now in their 11th generation, the core processor range offers a solid upgrade to a family of processors that have long been the mainstay slices of silicon for ultra-portable laptops. Before starting with this make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss our upcoming videos with lots of new product and benchmark comparison. Start with the video. But stiff competition has come from the latest Ryzen 4000 mobile processors, meaning Intel's Tiger Lake chips need to bring their A-game to the laptop world. They are now appearing in the latest laptops from the likes of Dell, Acer, Asus, and Lenovo. The best laptops you can buy now, Surface Book 3 vs MacBook Pro 2020, which Pro laptop is best? Intel delivered impressive performance with the Ice Lake chips and their Iris Plus integrated GPUs. But the Tiger Lake chips come with Intel's new Z graphics, which promise a notable upgrade in graphical grunt. Here's everything we know about Intel Tiger Lake for laptops, including the CPU's release date, specs and more. Intel Tiger Lake release date Intel's Tiger Lake processors are now out in the wild, having been revealed fully on September 2. Officially known as the Intel 11th Gen Core processors, the new family of chips come in Core i3, i5, and i7 variants and most have access to Intel's new Z integrated graphics, which promise a hike in GPU power over the Intel Iris Plus graphics in the 10th Gen Core chips. At the reveal event, Tiger Lake powered laptops were shown off, such as the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex 5G and the Asus ExpertBook 14. Some Tiger Lake laptops have already been released, such as the Asus ZenBook Flip S, Apple has made it clear that it's moving away from Intel chips with the Apple Silicon Initiative. That means it might be one of the few laptop makers that will avoid using the Tiger Lake generation processors, if it manages to get its own ARM-based chips ready to for the next MacBook Air and new MacBook Pro models. We'd not be surprised if some MacBooks come with Intel chip options while the transition to Apple's own silicon slices ramps up. Intel Tiger Lake chips build upon the 10 nanometers process node that the Ice Lake CPUs introduced last year. But this time the chips come with improved CPU, more than a 20% hike, and two times the GPU performance, courtesy of the new Intel Iris Z graphics. Much like Ice Lake, the Tiger Lake laptop chips are split into two families, one for ultra-portable laptops that want to tread the line between sustained performance and power consumption and another for thin and light laptop that don't need as much performance all the time but need to spend a long time away from a power source. With Tiger Lake, Intel is sticking with the same core i7, i5, and i3 configurations. But these will vary in clock speed, graphics performance, and thermal design power TFP, depending on where they sit in the Tiger Lake lineup. Top of the pack is the Core i7-1185G7, a quad-core, 8-thread CPU that clocks up to 4.8 GHz on a single core and 4.3 GHz across all cores. With 12 MB of cache memory this is the most powerful Tiger Lake CPU. It also comes with the most powerful Z Graphics Accelerator, sporting 96 execution units EUs, which is nearly double that of the top-end Ice Lake Iris Plus GPU, which has 64 EUs. The Core i7-1165G7 is pretty much the same but with slightly slower clock speeds. The Core i5-1135G7 comes with the same 4-core, 8-thread design of its Core i7 siblings, but has a max single-core clock speed of 4.2 GHz and multi-core speed of 3.8 GHz. It comes with 8 MB of cache and its Z Graphics sports 80 EUs. Expect this chip to be a mainstream part for the likes of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4. All three of these chips come with support for LPDDR4X4262 memory and come with a power draw that ranges between 12 to 28W. The Core i3-1125G4 is pretty similar to its Core i5 counterpart only it doesn't have the Iris Z graphics and instead uses Intel UHD graphics. It also supports LPDDR4X3733 RAM and only hits 3.7 GHz on a single core and 3.3 GHz on all four cores. It has a dual-core, quad-thread sibling in the form of the Core i3-1115G4, which comes with 6 MB of cache memory and runs up to 4.1 GHz on both its cores. Both these chips also have a 12-28W power draw. 
3 dma rk 11 i 7 11 65 g 7 new score vsamd ryzen 7 4800 uc twitter pick now for laptops with lower performance needs tiger lake has four chips with a power range of 7w to 15w the Core i7-1160G7 and Core i5-1130G7 are both quad-core, 8-thread chips with Iris Z graphics with 96 EUs. And the Core i7 has 12 MB of cache while the Core i5 has 8 MB. But as the chips have a lower TDP than the ones above, they will only hit top speeds of 4.4 GHz and 4 GHz on a single core respectively. The Core i3-1120G4 has a similar story only it uses Intel UHD graphics and maxes out at 3.5 GHz. The dual-core, 4-thread Core, core i3-1110G4 is the weakest chip, with 6 MB of cache and a top speed of 3.9 GHz. All four chips support LPDDR4X4266 RAM. In short, all the chips offer a performance upgrade over the Ice Lake family. Whether you'll notice a big difference in processor performance outside of benchmarks is debatable, and we'll have to try a few laptops with the new chips to see if Tiger Lake can boost everyday computing. Act time equals, 500 milliseconds, greater than Intel Tiger Lake graphics, it's on the graphics font that the Tiger Lake chips really come into their own, at least the ones with the new Iris Z integrated GPUs. Based on Intel ZLP architecture, the new GPUs deliver two times the graphics performance of the Iris Plus GPUs in the Ice Lake chips. Ice Lake chips topped out at 64 EUs while the top-end Tiger Lake chips have an Z GPU with 96 EUs. In our experience, Iris Plus could just about run some modern games, albeit with some severe lowering of settings and rather weak frame rates. But Iris Z can apparently run modern games at 1080p resolution and at playable frame rates. Intel showed off a video of someone playing Counter-Strike, Global Offensive on an Ultra Portable with Iris Z graphics. And games like Hitman 2, Far Cry New Dawn and Borderlands 3 will all be playable at 1080p. Intel didn't say what setting such games would be running, but they appeared to be delivering acceptable graphics expect a game at 30 frames per second not 60 fps in demanding game. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel.